G'day, Craig here from Fully Air Conditioned. Just gonna go through the normal setup we would set up on the new um, LG color screen. Um, yeah, we'll go through it now. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get into the setup. So we scroll across until we go to the menu. Okay, then we go across to settings. Um, push okay, because we need to find the uh, code to get into it. So you go to service, okay, and then you go down to RMC version, okay, and then that number there, eight o uh, two o eight o, is our access code. So as they update these, um, this number will change. So once you know that, go back to settings. So once you get back to settings, push and hold down the arrow up button. And it comes up with this passcode. So it was 2080. Okay. Now that pass setting will change depending on the current update of uh, firmware on the controller. So you've got test run, um, control address, ESP. So we normally set that. So on this one here, You've got um, slow, low, medium, high, and powerful. On the ducted units, it's only low, uh, medium, and high. I'll just set this at a random number because it's going to take me too long. And then um, we'll move on. Okay, just a little more on, the, um, on this controller. Um, more about the fan settings because I sort of breezed through that. Um, with the fan settings, the the speed settings are from um, are from zero to uh, two hundred and fifty five um, steps. So each step is a fan speed. So it has a lot of fan speeds, and so it has a lot of adjustment. Um, the adjustment will vary depending on how many zones you've got open, how many zones you've got closed, blah, blah, blah. General rule of thumb is on your lowest setting with zones closed, you want enough air volume coming out so that you can feel the air down at ground level. And the same thing for, um, for all the zones open, you want the high speed fan set so that there is enough velocity for the air so you can feel it down at ground level. So with the ESP, okay, uh, you've got in the controller here, it's used for a number of applications. It has slow, low, medium and high uh, and powerful. Uh, in the ducted units in Australia, the powerful and the um, slow are not used. So we've really only got three speeds, low, medium, high. Um, I normally start at high and probably set it at around 120 uh, or 130 and just see how it performs. So every single installation is gonna be different. So a unit that has a lot more outlets might be higher, a unit that has a lot less outlets will be lower but it's a good starting point. Start there, turn the unit on, turn all the zones on, get the airflow going, and see if it um, hits the ground. Yeah, so a good setting for medium is uh, probably around 80 or 90. Just start there to see how you go. Again, turn half the zones on, check the airflow, see if it's reaching the ground. Um, and low, you know, turn your minimum amount of outlets on and then again adjust it if you don't have any zones just set the the you know the, the speeds will be a lot closer together um, you might want to set medium to be uh, enough air to reach the ground you might want to go five or ten points um, above that for high and maybe five or ten points below that for low um, it will vary depending on on, on what you want uh, so the next one to set is a temperature sensor. It says 2TH, so 2TH means it's taking an average between the two sensors. Um, you'd probably be best to have it set to RMC, and so that sensors from the, the sensor down here, um, which gives you more of a better temperature 
at the actual um, controller or in the room. Static pressure, don't need to worry about that. Uh, RMC, if you had two of these controllers, you need to change one of them to slave and one to master. So we'll leave this on master, it's only got one. Dry contact, mode, auto. We don't have a dry contact. Um, three minute delay, S, E, E, R mode. Don't know what that means. Um, variable speed, we'll leave it on that. Um, zones, so this one here does have zones, but when we go to it, we've only got new zone and old zone. So we set it to new zone. Um, then later on we'll go outside, we'll turn the power off, wait for 10 minutes, turn the power back on, we'll come back in here, and then it should say new 8 zone. So that's the only problem um, with this one, is it takes a little bit longer to set up. Uh, it's only got 4 zones, we've actually got 5 connected. Uh, another setting to set the overheating, set that to 3 steps. That just brings the proportional banding closer and keeps a, a tighter temperature. Pipe temperature, just shows you the temperature of the pipe. Um, not used. Plasma kit, there's not one installed. So just change it to not installed. Heater kit, not installed. Humification kit, whoops, not installed. Ventilation kit, not installed. Auxiliary heater, not installed. Uh, dress, overcooling, that's another important one to change to keep a closer set point. Just change it to step number three. Static pressure, just leave that as is. Fan interlock off. Indoor unit auto start. This means it'll automatically start if it was on before and the power goes off. Uh, don't need to worry about that or that. And fan continuous, um, clear and set. So clear means that the fan will cycle off and on with the thermostat. Um, so we'll get out of here, we'll go and turn the power off and then we'll come back and set the zones. Okay, so now we've had the power off to the system for about 10 minutes. That's what they recommend. It gives enough time to depower the system. So now when you turn the power back on, um, it uploads new information to this. So uh, once that's done, we should be able to get in there and pick the new 8 zone uh, and then also set 5 zones. So it's just rebooting. Takes a few minutes. Okay, so it's rebooted now and it's all back on. So we go back into menu, okay. Then we go across to settings, okay. Um, oops. And we should just be able to hold down the arrow button now. And we put in the password 2080, okay. And then we'll go down to zone type and now we have new 8 zone so we go down to zones and we change it to 5 zones um, so yeah that's how you get the the zones working on the new controller bit painful if you don't know how but um, once you know how all good thank you well there's another how to with fully air conditioned setting up your LG controller hopefully we'll do some more videos soon thanks mate Mowing, keep the winter chills away, tell the summer heat away.